So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna take a quick look at yet another Tenet weapon and this time around it is going to be the mighty Tenet Detron. Now since this is a Tenet weapon, the only way to get it is by defeating a sister of Parvos that's wielding the Tenet Detron. I've already made a full video on how to defeat a sister of Parvos, so if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be linked in the description down below. The Tenet Detron is a mastery rank 16 semi-automatic secondary shotgun that at base does 260 radiation damage per shot and I say at base because it's a sister weapon so you're gonna get a bonus element or an elemental combo that's gonna be based on the progenitor warframe. Now outside of that the crit chance is 18% which is not too bad it is a standard 2 times crit multiplier good fire rate it has 6 rounds in the magazine with crazy multi shot it fires 10 pellets at base it has a lightning fast 1 second reload and actually very high status 10% with 10 pellets is very high. Now on top of all of that, it also has access to the Detron specific thermagnetic shells which will make killed enemies explode which will do 80 magnetic damage plus 40% of the killed enemy's maximum health in a 6 meter radius. I personally don't find this mod to be too terribly good, I feel like it doesn't do enough so I don't use it but if you want a little bit of extra boom out of your Detron, you can definitely put it on. And finally, the Tenet Detron isn't just Detron Plus, it does have a unique mechanic. Now, how would one make the Detron better? Because it's already a really cool semi-auto shotgun that sounds awesome and it looks awesome. Well, it's actually quite simple, you give it a secondary fire from Pandero. This thing is nuts, way more nuts than the Pandero, and I love it, because even with just base stats, no mods whatsoever, you have 6 rounds in the mag with a multi shot of 10, so you press the secondary fire and you fire out 60 pellets. So with a standard amount of multi shot that you get from Barrow Diffusion and Aletha Torrent, you're gonna go up to like 168 pellets with one button press. And that is just ridiculous. And finally, before we go into the build, I just want to mention that this is a tenet weapon, so it gains bonus capacity for every forma you put on it, up to a maximum of 5, so if you want to squeeze the absolute maximum out of it in terms of mastery and the capacity, and also unlock the ability to install a lens, you're gonna have to put on 5 forma. But that is pretty unnecessary, because you can get a pretty powerful build with just 2 forma, which is gonna be 2 Vs. Also, for my Detron specifically I opted to go for bonus magnetic damage because it gave me the unique opportunity to have three electricity based elemental combos on the weapon at the same time which I think is pretty cool. But anyway the build runs Hornet Strike for damage, Barrel Diffusion for multi shot, Aletha Torrent for fire rate and multi shot and then I have Creeping Bullseye because it gives you more crit chance than Prime Pistol Gambit, it's cheaper and the negative fire rate doesn't actually do anything because if you really want to burst you just use the secondary fire. And even for the primary fire the fire rate is high enough even with Creeping bullseye. So you might as well just save yourself the forma, then be a prime target tracker for the crit damage, scorch for heat and status, and then pistol pestilence and jolt for corrosive and status. This ends up with the weapon having radiation, magnetic, corrosive and heat, which I think is just really cool. Now as far as the damage is concerned, it's really good, especially on the secondary fire, which will basically kill everything you fire it at, and it works really well versus all the factions, because you have radiation, which is great against alloy armor and robotics, you have magnetic, which is really good against shields and proto shields, you have corrosive, which is very good against ferrite and fossilized, and then you have heat, which is generally just good against flesh. So basically, no matter what you shoot, you're gonna be doing bonus damage with something. So I am going to recommend this weapon, it is really cool, I like it, it sounds cool, it looks cool and the performance is really good as well. Plus you have a cool unique mod that you can add onto it that will increase its clear potential even further. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I will see you next time, bye bye.